I often compare my European experience of the church with that of the missions. The missionary church, a boiling pot of soup, bubbling all over with a lid that hardly stays on, so that one has to take care not to burn oneself. The European church, a glorious European icy dessert, perfect, tasty, but cold. For the Rwandans, God's existence has always been obvious. They even have a word for it, Irirguahandi, meaning God was once in Rwanda. He has gone, but he will return. Rwanda's church is one of the youngest in the world. Just over 100 years old, established in 1900 with the arrival of a couple of missionaries, white fathers, at the royal court in Nyanza. It needed another 30 years before the masses of Rwandans began to convert to Christianity. The process, however, came to an abrupt stop with the outbreak of the Second World War. When I arrived in Rwanda, I saw a mountainous country, which nearly made me think that I was back home in Pshesietnitsa, because we also have hills. I say nearly at home, because having arrived in the morning, I had not had the chance to experience the local temperature. My plane landed on the morning of September the 3rd at 6.20. The weather was different, the dry season was upon us. And one could see that this was a different culture, that these were different people, that life was simply different. The first caravan of Polish missionaries arrived here in 1973, in effect on the Rwandan church's 75th anniversary. We came as Palatines, with great ideals, to help this church deepen its evangelical faith. Missionary work is not easy, because one has to learn many professions, whilst at the same time be a good parish priest. Like Father Krzysztof, who is responsible for the parish, as well as headmaster of all the schools in his parish. Because the work is based mainly on coordinating the activities of lay groups in the field, achieving anything here without a car is practically impossible. We are two priests, serving 50,000 people, in a mountainous area, so you have to drive. One could probably reach some places on foot, but then one would visit not once a week, but once every two, three months. Everything centers on the parish. And it would, I suspect, be unreasonable to expect all Christians to show the same great ardor and be prepared to walk 20 kilometers to the parish. I remember, at the beginning, how difficult they found letting me into their homes to anoint the ill with holy oils. They would carry the patient outside, embarrassed at how their homes looked inside. 
However, when I said, I know exactly what your homes look like, just like ours after the war, we also slept ten to a room, and we also ate from one plate. All the doors opened, and going inside to sit or eat a simple meal together ceased to be a problem.